Hey guys, it's late Monday evening and it's the 9th of July. Um, I've been busy. Yesterday I was helping a friend and his dad clear out his dad's workshop. Um, I naturally came home with a bunch of goodies, which I'll show you in a minute. Some um, half-decent goodies as well, I might add. Uh, Saturday I took all the plastics off my moped. And um, I haven't got a good enough battery to use temporarily, so I've been using a battery charger stroke jump start pack. Does both. You can jump start car with it. Um, I was actually thinking of throwing that one away. I'm so glad I did not. Because it was sitting up here in the cupboard with my other two battery chargers. I kept three of them. So glad I didn't chuck any of them out now. But anyway, the bike does turn over. Um, yeah, it doesn't start yet because there's no fuel getting to the spark plug. Spark, there is spark, there is compression. The start motor works, it does slip now and again, but it does work. Um, yeah, I'm pretty confident we can get it to run. We'd, what we're going to have to do is take the carburetor off, clean all that out, and make sure the fuel lines are not blocked and whatnot. That has been stood, I was told, for four years. And if you're wondering, eh, I'll try that again. If you're wondering why I took all the plastic panels off, it's because I actually at first thought there was an electrical fault because I could get the indicators to work, but nothing else. But it just turns out that the battery I was using is knackered, basically. It was bought brand new about five years ago, and because it's been sitting around so long and not really kept charged, it's just um, you know it's dead which is why I took my uh, big battery charger down to mum's today plus there's a bit of work I want to do on the steel parts of the frame because the main part of the frame is actually cast aluminium I wondered why that looked so bloody clean and new um, but haven't had a look at it I can't find any bearings or anything that are loose there's no play in the steering can't find no play in the wheels so the bearings seem fine so i haven't got to worry about that so far the only thing i've found that i've got to replace are both tires the exhausts look solid a little bit of rust but it looks solid um plastics do need a bit of repair because there's some screw where the screws go in some of them are broke because I can clearly see someone has dropped it and that's probably what broke them uh, oh the other thing I've got to buy is mirrors although my brother said I could only get away with one but that looks odd to me so I'm, I want both I want to keep an eye on both sides but that's just my own personal thing um, yeah so the steel frame I want to paint up the other thing I'm going to change is the brake pipes um, it might go through as an advisory because the connecting points on the um, brake calipers are rather rusty. So they might go through as an advisory or they might fail. I don't want to take the chance either way. And I just thought brake pipes are not going to be that expensive for it. While I've got all the plastic panels off. And once I've got it to start and I know it's a, you know, a good to go. If I can't get it to start because the engine's knackered, then there's no point. As long as it's all good with the engine, I'll get a couple of brake pipes and fit those while the plastics are off. need a headlight bulb because it's only got one. And to me that looks odd, so I want both in there. Both are wide up. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to getting that all done and me buzzing around on it. I don't know where to go now because mum's in town, but you know, I'm sure I can find somewhere to go on it. Anyway, should we have a look at this uh, bunch of, uh, well, most people would probably just call it crap. But to me, you know, it's useful to me. One man's garbage is another man's treasure, as they say. So, uh, should we have a look? And just like that. I have turned you around. Right, so we're looking at a pile of laptops. 
I've got another one in the lounge that I'll show you later, but we'll start with these because I didn't get the one in the lounge with these. That, that was a separate deal. Anyway, five laptops. Three of them are Toshiba, one HP, one Compaq. Uh, right on the top here is a Toshiba Equium. I can't remember the model number. It's got Windows, or came with Windows XP. It's got a Centrino Duo processor on it. Windows XP sticker over there. Oh, designed for Windows XP and Windows Vista. Hmm. Well, if I run Windows Vista, then I can guarantee I could, if I really wanted to, upgrade this to either 7. Thank you, Luna. Or 10. I'm not sure what I want to do with this one. Um, I have plugged all of these in and tried them. This one, nothing was on screen, but I could hear the hard drive doing its usual, you know, clicking noises that they make when um, a laptop or a computer is booting up. Not clicking, you know what I mean, the usual hard drive noises. So uh, I'm pretty certain it does work in that respect, but like I said, there's nothing on screen. So I'm about 99% certain it's a screen problem. But I had one very similar to this. Very, very similar. This has been kept somewhere damp. The speaker grills have rusted. But, uh, yeah, someone stuck an apple sticker on this one. Okay. So, the next two are identical. They're both Toshiba uh, satellites. Yep. Both C60 17Ls, as you can see, and that one's just identical. Now, they haven't got hard drives. This one, well, I was going to say it's got the bottom cover missing, but it isn't. It's just not attached. It's down there. Oh, I've got the hard hat from the same guy as well. Now, when I tried these, because there was an adapter for these that came in the bag as well, they turned on and they posted. Well, they got well. What it came up with, and I've never seen a machine do this, came straight up with the uh, boot menu for me to select. You know what boot device I want to boot from. I think I said boot far too many times there, but never mind. Well, I've got, got an Intel Pentium inside, Windows 7 sticker, and I actually like these. I really want to get these two fully working. I need hard drives. I've got one on the corner of the shelf above us was my PS3 hard drive but I can't see me getting anything you know soon to replace it so yeah there's this one and there's that one underneath so let me just move these and we'll have a look at the other two and just like that the other two are out of the way so We've now got this HP Pavilion Entertainment PC. If you want to look up the specs, because I haven't actually looked at any of these online yet. The model number is HP Pavilion DV, I believe, that's a 6000. Yeah. Uh, this one, I don't think that actually booted into any windows, but I know it at least turned on and posted. And I actually have to say, I like the look of this one. Intel Centrino Duo. I don't know if that was a good processor back in the day. Like I said, I really don't know a good processor to a bad one. I'm not that au fait with them. I just, I'm learning slowly, but most of my knowledge is just getting things like this to work or even building a desktop PC but anyway Windows Vista sticker on it that like said this one powered up posted but I'm pretty certain it didn't boot I can't remember if it's got a hard drive on it or not either no I just remembered it didn't boot it did not boot it came up with a boot error anyway let me just get this one out of the way And the last one. This is probably the tattiest out of them all. It's a Compact Presario. It's not the only Compact I've got, but... 
That's the only Presario I've got. It's a CQ60. Now, once upon a time, I actually disliked Compaq. But I think it's just because I had a few uh, bad eggs, I think would be the correct term. But this one actually boots into Windows. And I can't remember if that was Windows 7 or Windows Vista. But either way, it booted. But it was slow as hell. It's like um, that Dell Latitude that I picked up at the yard sale. It's unusable. So, I've got a choice. I could restore this one with Windows 7 or Windows um, Vista. I'm pretty certain it's Windows Vista actually. Or I could upgrade it to like Windows 7 or something and make it, you know, a usable PC. Or I could even upgrade it to Windows 10. Or I could just say sod it and just take it apart for RAM and hard drive. Because <laughs> I'm really not that bothered with this one. You know, I just... It's not yelling out at me like the other ones are, especially those other two Toshibas. Anyway, moving on, we've got a bag of um, CD cases there. The thin ones, which I like. Uh, and I've got a big pile of blank DVDs here, minus the Pogues. And these all appear to be pirate DVDs. I'm not going to keep them, I just bought them home because I'm actually in. Well, some of the titles intrigued me, I just want to see what they were. Because I can't imagine that these discs are going to be good quality anyway. But anyway, I'll go through those one day and then eventually that'll end up in the bin. Anywho, we're going to move on to this box. Nice big box. Those VHS tapes, I took these ones out of the bag. Or was it a box? I can't remember. No, it was a bag. Um, because these are, the, you know, the... Well, we used to call them in our house the blank tapes. Because you can record with them, you see. And I didn't pay any attention to the titles written on them. But I have just found out, because I was looking at them before I started this video. <laughs> They're all um, adult movies. Each and every one, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, yeah, I've picked up a bunch of um, adult material. <laughs> not intentional. I swear that was not intentional because I didn't look at the titles. Well, to be honest, I looked at a couple, so I knew there was a couple there that were adult movies, but I didn't really look at the rest, I just grabbed them out of the bag. You know, we didn't have time to stop and study them. Which is basically why I just grabbed the whole lot, because I didn't have time to go through them. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I've got four of these. Including a, a Transformer. But I'm not sure if that would be man enough to run all four, or if I'd have to grab some more. I've got two in there as well. Well, I presume they're two. I'm presuming there's only one in each box. They're still wrapped. Look, brand new. Lighting. Now, if I could, and I could open up these boxes, I would have loved to have put these in there. <laughs> so I think that would have looked quite nice. And obviously, yeah, I've changed these for LED bulbs. I think if I change these for LED bulbs, that might drive them. Out push. Uh, what else have I got in here? Very old hard drive, which is rusty and got some bent pins, but I've seen worse things work, so... And this is an old 527 megabyte. Yeah, not gigabyte, megabyte. Let's move the pogues out of the way. I'm going to make some room in this box. I'm going to stack these over here. I've got to try not to make you too dizzy. Right. Bag of glands. Don't know if I'll keep those, but they might come in handy for something. You never know. Let's put these lights over here as well. There was a few more, but a lot of the others weren't complete lamps, so I threw them in the bin. I just picked up the box that all these lights were in, because again, you know, I said I didn't have time. Oh, I forgot there's a fifth one here as well. Or a seventh one if we count those two. Uh, smoke detector. 
unused because the battery that was in there wasn't connected to the clip despite that corrosion on there. Um, and it was still wrapped in its little cellophane wrapper, but that's the bracket for it. The battery had leaked, so it's obviously been sitting around for quite some time. Unfortunately. Uh, all sorts of goodies in here, actually. I picked up all sorts. Oh, there's a TV on the floor down here. It's only a little one. Um, but it's got VGA on it as well, so if it works, I've got a little TV there. What else have we got in here? Some phones, we'll go through those in a second. Some old digital cameras. I say old because one of these actually uses a really, really old style of memory card. I'm just trying to remember it here. Undo that. Undo that. Do you know how awkward this is to do it one-handed? Is that going to come out? Look, it takes this type. 8 megabyte. It is actually Canon branded as well. There's a little old Canon camera, this one is. I think that's the one that actually came in the box there as well. One of these, the battery is bloody leaked in. You know what some people are like. Was a rechargeable one, but I very much doubt it recharges now. In fact, it was on the side here, but I think I threw it in the bin. So yeah, that's one camera. Don't know why I got these, because like I said, they're, they're not modern, modern. That's another one. What's the brand on this one? Oh, it's a Kodak. So we've got Canon, we've got Kodak. Is that Kodak as well? Yes, it is a Kodak. Four megapixel. Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose they'd be decent enough to take photos with. So long as they work. I haven't tried them. This is one thing I had to pick up as well. So it was going to go in the um, electricals pile for the recycle centre. It's um, a Toshiba portable cassette player. I can't really call it a Walkman because that was a Sony name. Um, it's got AM FM radio built in. I hope this works. I really do. And I'm actually glad it's got the radio in it as well. I've been looking for one of these for years. Just to add to my collection of retro stuff. Well, I guess if it doesn't work, the worst it could be is some belts needed. So. Put graphic equalizer thing on it as well. <laughs> Bloody hell. You've got the belt clip with it, look, that you can actually remove as well. Tuning and volume on the top there, headphone jack. Can't wait to actually get some batteries in that to fire up, but I need some good batteries. I haven't got any left. But yeah, I couldn't let him throw that away. Uh, oh, that is the charger for one of those um, Kodak cameras. I can't remember which one. Right, we've got some RAM as well. This is old RAM. So it's got the two notches, this is old SD RAM. I can't see, I think it's 256 meg. PC 100, 322. Yeah, it hasn't actually got the rating on it, but there's three of those. I know it's the old school stuff, but I still have at least one PC here that uses this. There might be two, but I know I've got one at least. Just chuck that back in there actually. <laughs> Random lamp holder because I couldn't actually be bothered to throw it in the bag at the time. Uh, USB to Ethernet adapter, LAN adapter. I have no idea what the speed of this would be, but I just thought that was an unusual interesting thing, so I grabbed that. Another Wi-Fi card, I've got two of these. I don't know if they're the exact same model though. I'll have to have a look. 
They look the same because the other one's green. Sony Ericsson phone speakers. Pretty much brand spanking new and in mint condition. Been told these are rare to find. But I don't know if that's true or not or if they'd be worth anything. But I've got some Sony Ericsson phones here so I figured why not. Uh, bike lock with a key. Phone extension lead. Wind up one. Mum wanted one of them and I can't remember what for. A bunch of these torches which don't seem to work because they've been kept somewhere damp so there's bad connections in the bottom here. Uh, DVDs. Tough and deadly. Uh, the fan. Other random shitty DVD. Jackie Chan because I am quite a Jackie Chan fan. Rumble in the Bronx. Uh, Jackie Chan, Master with Cracked Fingers. No Retreat, John claude Van Damme. Another one of my favourites. And Armed Response. Get out of the place, boy. Right. Phones! I have got a Motorola missing. Or did I bury it on here? I know it was here somewhere. Oh well. We have a Blackberry. I've just realised it's actually missing its keyboard as well. Uh, what is this little Sony Ericsson? I have no idea what this is and this looks rather knackered to be honest. Don't know why I picked that one up. Motorola. It's um, a very bad and poorly looking Motorola. I've got a funny feeling the battery has leaked like anything. Got a bunch of Nokia's as well. Got this one, another, th as I say, 210 or say 310. I, can't, I can never remember. What's this one? This is nice. It's another Sony Ericsson. I quite like that one. Good old slider phones. Who remembers them when they were all the rage? Uh, another flip phone. Another Motorola flip phone. Flip phone? A flip phone. Flip phone, not flip phone. I got this. Anyway. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Right. That's in good condition, though. I didn't realise that one was in such poor condition, otherwise I wouldn't have... Ah, it's another one of these. I just realised they're identical. That's alright then. Chuck that one in the bin. A Samson! Gotta love Samson phones. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I suppose if you wanted a bog standard simple phone, you couldn't get any more simpler than these. But I cannot see a brand on this whatsoever. So that would have probably been like your yeah, 30, 40 quid phone brand new, same as this little Vodafone thing by Sagem, I remember them. Missing its aerial, but who cares? He, <laughs> I was glad when I saw this one. My mum had an identical one to this, same colour as well. Same case colour and same orange there. And she loved that phone, it's a damn good phone. Sony Ericsson again. Oh, there is a camera hiding under that. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, I've got a Motorola as well, but I do not know where that's vanished. The problem is, it's black, so if it's laying on this table somewhere, I'm probably not going to see it. Is that down there? No. Nope. Can't just get up and walk. Mind you, in this flat, anything is possible. I have to find some batteries for that and try it. That's the start cap for a pillar drill I've got down in my shed. Picked that up for my stepdad along with a petrol strimmer and hopefully some model railway gear. Need to get some charge. I have a 
believe I've still got some Sony Ericsson chargers in my box of chargers in the closet. I'll have to dig those out and see if I can get the old phones to fill you up. I was seeing if it dropped somewhere. It might have dropped somewhere and I haven't seen it. Or I might have thrown it somewhere and forgot about it. That's also possible. Because I know I had uh, a friend of mine over last night, so that could have got put anywhere. Oh well, we'll find that later. Right, let's just go to the lounge. Right, we're in the lounge, and as you can see I've got yet another laptop. Now this is brand new. We'll swing around, there's the box. Well it's a Chinese brand, you see it's one of these T... T... Bao or whatever, however that's pronounced. Um, but it does fully work, it does fully function. The weird thing about this is... It uses a 5 volt DC adapter um, and the friend I got this from threw it because it wasn't a safe adapter to use it was a Chinese oops I nearly lost you a Chinese cheap shitty pardon me shitty thing that I wouldn't have trusted either but uh, this does work, this charge. In fact, I was using a 3 volt charger to charge this, and that was working. Taking a bloody long time, but it was working. But I can't turn it on because I went to unplug said adapter. <laughs> and there's part of it. Um, the other part of it is on the floor somewhere. Over there. See it? Right there. Yeah, so. I don't think there's going to be any charge in it. We'll have a look. Oh, there is. But is there enough to boot it? Yep. I mean, it does boot. It does a weird thing when the battery gets low. All the screen starts flickering. But that is only because the battery gets low. But, uh, yeah, this boots into Windows 10. I don't know what the specs are. Actually, I can't remember what the processor is, but it does have 4 gigabytes of RAM. And I just wanted something half decent, really, or something that... Well, why does it do this? It keeps going into tablet mode automatically, and I dislike that. May have to um, adjust some settings. We don't need Bluetooth on, and we don't need that on either. So, I need to find a 5 volt adapter, and I know I've got a bunch of them around, I know I've got loads around here somewhere. But, uh, technically it's a Chinese piece of crap, but I like it. It's actually quite thin, it's pretty lightweight. For the light use I want it for, it's perfect, because I want to take it down to Mum's. Simply because I'm fed up with using her laptop, because obviously I keep getting kicked off of it. <laughs> so I thought I could uh, get the adapter for this and just use this when I'm down at Mum's. Um, if you're wondering how I got it, I swapped the Claude Butler mountain bike for it. Yep, I actually did it. I got rid of it. Um... My friend needed a bike, and he's always liked that bike. And to be honest, after three, over three years now, about three and a half years, I was actually starting to get bored with it, and I had been thinking of getting a different hardtail bike. Something new, because like I said I've had it th over three years now. And this opportunity came up, and I thought, hmm, yeah, I like that laptop, it's not bad. It's not the best thing on the planet, but it is fast, it is working, so... How long it lasts is something else entirely, because, uh, like I said, it's only got a little 
5 volt lithium polymer battery in it which I hope is actually replaceable because you know if it broke I would like to fix it anyway that's about it <laughs> so it's a laptop that works <laughs> Ah, there's a folder on there I'm going to take off two folders actually. Because my friend paid to have uh, Windows 10 reinstalled on this. Only because a place he took it to, I think to um, what they call pawn it, did something to it and fucked it up basically. So he took it to the shop next door, that me and him know, we know the guy in there, and he managed to... Um, get it to go again but apparently finding the drivers were an absolute ass i've just seen that these two folders are here drivers and tebow r8 drivers i'll put those folders onto a usb stick it's got hdmi and usb 2 so that's the other reason this is cheap because it's not the best specs spec wise <laughs> But, uh, no, I'll just find the button. Hidden button, there we go. Copy those straight across to that. It's only USB 2 ports. I say these are cheap. These are, I've seen them on eBay, brand new. At most, about £179, brand new. But anyway, I think I've rambled on enough in this video, so thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you liked the video. I'm going to see if I can get a Toshiba working. See you later.